Well, Kemba, he lives in the gym. He's always tell me when he was little, even before all of this started, I would be asleep on the weekend when I really want to sleep. And I would just hear boom, boom. I knew who it was. I ain't had to look far. I ain't even had to get out of my bed because I knew he was outside playing basketball. It'd be like six in the morning. And he's outside just boom. I was like, thank God the neighbors are used to noise, so they never complain. But, you know, that's just something he wanted to do. Beginning of the game, Kemba Walker all the way knifes into Kimba the rim. Kemba Walker lives the game, loves the game. Well, I was born in St. Croix, Virgin Islands. My mom and dad is from Antigua. Lived in New York from the age of nine until 2011. Went to school there. Got married there, had a family there. Whew, Soundview. It was, I mean, it has its good days and its bad days, you know. You know, when we, when we first moved to the Soundview area, um, you know, it was, it was a pretty rough area, of course. You know, um, you know, a lot of violence and you know, things like that. For the most part, we were very private. You know, we stayed inside. The kids always wanted to go outside and my heart was always in my hands, you know, when they're outside. But for the most part, it was home. That's all that, you know, we knew. I heard being so overprotective. Um, I hated it. I hated it a lot. She didn't let me do a lot of things when I was, when I was young. The only thing they wanted to do when they go back to the island, go to the beach. And for the fact that he could go outside without having to ask me to go outside. So that was, his thing was he go in, put his shoes, take his shoes off and jump outside and say, uh-huh, I'm outside. You know, cause I was just that type of mother. You need to go outside, you gotta ask to go outside. You know, cause I'm just scared of what's happening outside. I remember one year when I lived on university, um, I was in Antigua visiting my grandmom and I left them at home with my sister. And they called me screaming because they had a shootout across the street and one of the bullets came through our window, came through my bedroom window and they were sitting on my bed and they was like screaming and terrified. You know, I was ready to get on the next flight out, but what could I have done, you know? But thank God that nobody got hurt in the house. So, I mean, we seen it all. But that's just a part of living in New York. Just a typical average day for us. Just the life of me, a typical mother. Typical day, get up, four in the morning, go to work. By five, my husband go to work. Um, call the house, get Kemba to wake up. You know, half the day he's sleepwalking, going to the bathroom. You know, get him up, tell him, get up, time to go to school. You know, make sure I left him leave his money on the table and he's out. Typical day for me was to wake up, go to school. Um. <laughs> in the morning time, it was hard getting him out of the bed. So the money that I would leave for him to go to, um, for his lunch, which I used to give him like $20 a day, which my daughter's to this day always fuss because she only got $2. And by the time, he was in high school, he was the only child at home, so he got $20 and he would take a cab to school. <laughs> he, was, he was funny, he used to like to hit people and he used to like to dance a lot as a kid. He used to always want to somebody look at him dancing so he could get money. You know, he always wanted to get paid for dancing, so. I don't remember, I don't remember but yeah. Yes. We lived on University Avenue before we moved to Soundview and had a laundromat downstairs. His best friend, Kevin Shaw, that got murdered last summer in New York, um, dad owned the barbershop down the block. And, you know, they would always come up to where we live at and he would, <laughs> he always wanted to hit people. You know, he'd like come up to you and start doing the bogle. Well, so. When I was young, it's this guy who used to work in the laundromat from where, where we were from. He owned the laundromat and, and I would go in there and I, it was like 
like like little gumball machines, and I would always want a piece of gum, man. I would ask him for a quarter, but he'll make me dance for the quarter. <laughs> so he he'd tell me I had to, you know, I had to you know bust a move. So you know, I was I was a, I was a huge dancer when I was young. So well before before I really got into basketball, I um used to go to this community center, um, on, which was in the basement of our apartment building. And um, I used to go there for basically after school program until my parents got home from work. They had a um, dance class in the after school program, so that's how he got into the dancing, as far as going to the Apollo and different stuff like that. Like certain things you don't really think, places you go, you don't really expect your kids to get there. And then, you know, especially where we are from, you know, the Apollo, you know, that's something we watch on TV, you know. Um, even as far as where he's at today, you know, not in my wildest dream, I thought we would have been here, you know, but it's a blessing.